Thank you. Uh, any questions? Yeah. Yep. Charlie, identify yourself for those on the phone. I'm Charlie Hart from Hitachi. Uh, great presentation, guys. Uh, uh, you mentioned that you're going, you're proposing a sort of a standard that varies based on the level of, uh, I guess, technology involved or the depth or whatever. Mm -hmm. So obviously, SPDX and uh, SWIRT are both pretty technical uh, specifications. I wonder what is the uh, if I'm just a procurement guy and I want to check this this sheet and do edit text readout. Is that is that possible? So I think that. Um the business process associated with procurement, um, it involves, you know, a technology of, okay, what's the thing, right? And we have sort of some, there's some standards where you can take, okay, what's the thing? There's a whole set of discussions uh, on the procurement side for, for two dimensions, right? What is my threshold for ingress, right? So what turns green to red? where I say, I'm not going to buy this because of, right? And that, that, that's customer specific. And there's no particular consensus on that. There are within certain verticals like financial services, but um, that's something that you need to decide. And the other is continuity, which is, okay, sure, I know it today. How do I know if that information changes tomorrow? Right, so how do you understand that in time? Because as we've all seen, you know, vulnerabilities emerge, right? So the thing that you approved 90 days ago, you know, and Equifax learned this lesson hard, right? The thing that you approved, it's not green forever. And so what are your processes whereby what you've been given is monitored continuously so that you have some knowledge of, of, of the thing that you approved was good and now it's not? And then what do you do about it? Right, so partly the, the the software bill of materials is the is the starting material that allows you to say, okay, this is what it is, right? But then, for, from a customer perspective, it then becomes your responsibility to decide if it's acceptable, and if it's still acceptable, you know, day, day after day. And those those questions in most enterprises are unanswered. So just real quick, I think, uh, first of all, I completely agree with that. Uh, second, uh, second thing is I think you're right. That it's going to come kind of industry by industry. And uh, I've been working more closely with automotive than anything else. And mm -hmm. all the standards are set by the individual OEMs in automotive. Uh, my company is a supplier to many large OEMs. And um, some of them are further along than others. But what's going to end up happening, I think, is there's going to be somebody who says, okay, we're going to buy this thing. From you, and it will not have any vulnerabilities, uh, any severe vulnerabilities, and it will have only ten minor ones, whatever, right? Uh, and then you will also have to put in place some sort of operational situation where you have vulnerability uh, exposure uh, uh, publicity programs, right? So, so we're going to get into some specifics yep. uh, a little later on, yep. uh, but I think the Thinking about the buckets of work that we've heard yeah. people talk about, this touches on two things. Yeah. One, just moving forward the standards and practices group, yeah. sort of saying, in addition to documenting, hey, what are the tools that we have? We want to sort of say, hey, listen, we now have these tools. Let's go and find out what are the turnkey things that we already have and what are the gaps. But also something that the group has talked about is documenting processes. Well, and, and also, I think that there's a more fundamental business shift here, which we see in, in SaaS, right? So it's the shift from a license to an SLA, right, where all of a sudden you are not just buying a thing one time, but you're buying a, a, a set of responsibilities, right? So I'm buying not only the thing, but I'm buying your commitment to maintain it and prove that you're maintaining it. And so... The, the SBOM becomes, from a procurement perspective, your, um, your audit and enforcement capability to, to make sure that a customer delivers against those SLAs. Yes, completely agree with that, especially on the IoT side. Um, we're gonna, no, this, is, this is phenomenal. We are, I, I, I love this, and the challenge is going to be, as we move forward, keeping all of these threads alive because uh, it's going to be hard to do all of them. Uh, and we're going to want to try to prioritize 
Um, at the very end, JC sort of flagged SaaS, and I think that's something that's very important to acknowledge, which is a lot of what we've been talking about has had a slight implicit bias towards traditional on-prem or embedded. Uh, and in fact, that's something that we've, tr we've asked about at previous meetings over the past year. Hey, guys, future of software, no one says the future of software is on-prem software. Uh, we're going to have it, but we need to sort of, as we move forward, think about what is different about SBOM for not on-prem software. Uh, and some of it's great, some of it's really useful and valuable, some of it's harder, like the type of information you need to know may be a little more multidimensional. 